Hi everyone, sorry I've been off for so long, but I am back now. Um, this is just going to be a really quick reading, and then on the first, or sometime around the first, you know, give or take a couple days, I plan on posting my usual uh, Zodiac videos. I know it's been a while since I've been on, I've been traveling a lot, a lot and whatnot, but I'm, yeah, I've returned. And as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is posted in the description box below this video. Dragon Enchantress at AOL.com. So what's going on with you? Cycles. Please bear with my um, camera for a second. Cycles. Phoenix Rising. Some of you guys, so this could be you, this could be your person. Some of you are coming out of a dark night of the soul process and you're being guided to just be patient with yourself. Take it as it resonates. Either this is for you or this is your person. But what I'm seeing here is that someone is going through... A major transformation so right now it might kind of feel like you're taking a few steps back it's like it's up and down you know what I mean um, this could also be like a twin flame or soulmate connection that you're in where this person kind of retreats and then they come back stronger than ever and you're not really sure what's going on with them like you're not understanding their energy and this you know only take it if it resonates this you would probably know if you're in a twin flame connection like you would feel this energy already like you might feel like this person really loves you, like they're really close, but then sometimes they kind of pull back and retreat a little bit, but you're still telepathically feeling their energy. You're still feeling like they miss you, they love you, they're wanting to connect to you, but then like you're not seeing a lot of action in the 3D, so it leaves you kind of confused. And the cards are basically saying, you know, be patient because this person is coming into their power. They are going through you know, it's the end of the dark night of the soul process. They're going through this cycle, through this transformation. They're ending maybe karmic cycles that they've been tied up in. So it's kind of this message, just trust the process, to trust that everything's happening as, it, as it's meant to. It's like, it might not make sense in the present moment, but it's like, you can feel this energy. You can feel this transformation. Like, even if this person... Um, feels dis distant physically like you can feel that you know telepathically like 5d you know in, in a on a psychic level you can feel that they're working on themselves you can feel that they're making life changes that they're you know it, it's darkest just before the sunrise it's, it's it's like they might be involved in these karmic relationships as well um where you might feel like they're if, if you're in like a third party situation you might feel like they're fighting a lot with their person or there's just a lot of drama going on and you might feel more hopeless than ever but it's it's actually part of the transformation like you're you're in that part of the cycle where you know things are are basically it's like a tower moment kind of energy i'm seeing the tower tarot card where it's like things are hitting rock bottom like all the chaos you know everything's coming up to be purged you might be purging, they might be purging as well, maybe having um, dreams, just working through abandonment issues and traumas on both ends. Um, but it, it's, it's, yeah, with the cycles card here, it's basically just saying trust the process. Like, even if it doesn't make sense to you, um, all this is happening to bring you guys into alignment. So for some of you, it's like your person didn't want to learn these karmic lessons and now they're your spirit guides are kind of pushing them into it where it's like they have no choice. They can't put the blindfold back on. There is no, um, I'm getting like a Phantom of the Opera re reference here <laughs> past the point of no return. Um, it's like, there is no going back. Like it's, it can't be unseen. You know what I mean? Like they can't put the blindfold back on. Like things are coming to light and they're, you know, they have to deal with it now. They have to, to deal with it and wrap these karmic cycles up and, um, ultimately, you know, with the Phoenix Rising card, it's it requires patience, yes, but it's a really good thing. It's like they're, you know, getting on their path. They're becoming the version of themselves that they want to be. Even if it doesn't make sense to society, it's like they're finding their own truth now. They're getting into alignment. So, you know, just hold space for them. It doesn't mean that you have to wait for them or put your life on hold, but just kind of... You know, just kind of giving you an, an, a, a, some insight into what they're going through mentally, telepathically. You know, you're not crazy. You really are feeling their energy telepathically. But like I said, it just it requires patience as these as they end these karmic cycles and, you know, find themselves and rediscover themselves, reinvent themselves with the Phoenix rising here. 
And like I said, sorry these are so short. I've been having issues with my phone, but I'm going to try to do some longer readings for you guys on the first. I'm also going to be doing more um, karmic and twin flame readings as well. Yeah, this person is, is taking off your mask. And take it as it resonates. This could be you as well. This could be your energy where maybe you're being hard on yourself. Maybe you're going through. And if you guys are twin flames, then chances are, you know, twin flames mirror each other a lot. So if you're twin flames, you know, chances are that you're both going through this energy at the same time. You're both becoming your raw, authentic selves. You're both being guided to take off your mask, to look at, look at whatever has been entrapping you. You know, look at where you've been selling yourself short, where you've been selling out, where you haven't been true to yourself, where this could be in jobs, this could be in karmic connections, relationships, family, um, like jobs that don't serve your highest interest, jobs that are not in alignment with your soul, with your higher self, with the things that truly make you happy. It's like you're both being guided to take off your mask and really be raw and vulnerable and passionate and honest with yourself about where you've been trapped where you've been selling yourself short um, about the things that have been holding you back. And, you know, it might seem like, you know, there might be like job loss or, you know, relation, like, you know, family, friends falling out, just lots of tower moments, life changes. But these are all led by your spirit guides. These are all ultimately in your best interest because they're, you know, taking off the mask or getting you both into alignment with your higher selves and with things that are actually going to make you happy. Yeah, because you, I think this is for both of you. I think both of you have been self-sabotaging out of pride and fear. Yeah, damage. Yeah, damage, wholeness, soul, victim consciousness. And now your inner child is coming through. It's like your spirit guides are coming through and they're like, wait a minute, like, look at this energy. Look at this eight of swords, victim consciousness, hole in the soul, self-sabotage, pride, ego, fear, things that have been holding you back. Look at this energy now. And for some of you, you know, and, and like I said, I think this is like a mirroring twin flame thing. Like I think both you and your person are going through this. But for some of you, it's like you have, you, you both of you have not wanted to look at this for a long time. And now you're being pushed to look at it. And, you know, your inner child is coming through and you're, you're realizing that these life changes that you were so, um, that you refused so adamantly, you're, you're realizing now that these life changes are actually in your best interest. These life changes are actually things that are going to make you happy. Like maybe some of you held on to a stagnant job or your person's been holding on to a stagnant job. I mean, maybe both of you. And maybe there's, you know, like transformations in the areas of work. And at first you're terrified and you're like, no, like, wait, like I went to school for this job but you're being led down a different path now. For some of you, you might have gone to school or studied something and it was just for the experience. It might not be what you're meant to do long term. But like, I think you're coming into that awareness, that realization, and it's making you happy. It's like, wait a minute, like this other path is actually meant for me. And, and now that I'm taking off the blindfold and going down this path, this path isn't dark and scary like I thought it was. The unfamiliar isn't as dark and scary as I thought it was. There's actually, this is actually bright. This is actually in alignment with my inner child. This is actually something that I feel will make me happy long term. Like this is, you're realizing that this is a beautiful thing. And your person also, you know, your person also is so, they just, they refuse these life changes. And now they're seeing that these life changes are actually a really good thing that there's, you know, they can let go of that stubbornness. They can let go of the fear of, you know, it's like both of you had that kind of pride, like always wanting to be right, always wanting to be in control of your lives. And now both of you guys, I feel like are letting go of the control issues and the pride. And you're like, wait a minute, like I was holding on to those toxic things so stubbornly and they weren't actually making me happy. Like that job wasn't making me happy. Those relationships weren't making me happy. So now you're getting into alignment with your inner child and pursuing hobbies and career paths and new friendships and things that are actually going to make you happy in the long term. So, um, so yeah, that's your message. Like I said, my phone's cutting the, the video short, so I'm going to have to get off before it cuts out, but, um, I will fix that shortly finally. Um, but yeah, trust the process that that's your main message here is trust the process. Don't be afraid of change. There's some beautiful things coming in. If you allow it, if you allow yourself to get out of your comfort zone and to go on this new path.